Hey, this is Mike Johnston, and I wanted to make this video for you today because I wanted to address something that I don't see anybody in the mainstream media covering. That being that there is a definite winner emerging on the web in social networks in regard to the 2016 presidential election. And it may surprise you who it is. Now, what started me on this little quest was a friend of mine posted on Facebook like yesterday and, and noted that Facebook pages will show you how many of your friends like that page. And he was talking about Donald Trump. And I thought, hmm, well, interesting. So I wonder how many of my friends like Hillary Clinton. And it kind of snowballed from there into a little bit of research. Um, for some background, I work in search engine optimization, web design, and online advertising. So I know the value of social signals, such as likes and shares on social networks. And so does the Google algorithm, which uses such social signals as part of its process to determine the um, value and importance of a specific web page based on as best it can perceive what the public feels about um, that web page brand or person in this case. So I think what I found was really interesting and I'm going to switch to a screen share now and I'm going to show you what I found. So check it out. Okay, so um, at any rate, a post on Facebook is what started this whole thing for me. A friend of mine, Yuri Av, from the uh, Washington, D.C. area, he's a rapper from the Washington, D.C. area, and he posted this, SMH, want to know who, your fa who of your Facebook friends likes Donald Trump? Just go to his page. Facebook will tell you. Can't believe you guys. Hmm, interesting. And then he posted a screenshot from a mobile device here showing that 33 of his, well, 34 of his friends like Donald Trump. And that was interesting. Personally, I've been kind of uh, middle of the road this election just because I can't really see myself supporting either candidate. Hillary, for so many reasons, other than the fact that she's already been in the White House, her husband was president, can't we get somebody from a different family? And Donald, on the other hand, you know, he's, he's not a career politician, but at the same time, he was born rich. So I, I thought, I wonder how true that is. I wonder how many of my friends like Donald. So I went to his page on Facebook and I saw that 10 of my friends, well 11 of my friends, <laughs> like Donald Trump and that he has a total of 11,397,663 likes on Facebook. That's a serious amount of likes. If you're a business, you're doing really good at that point. <laughs> um, and then because I saw that and because I think so much about SEO, I thought, well, I wonder how Hillary is competing on social networks. So I then went to her Facebook page and I found that apparently none of my friends like Hillary and 7,083,933 people like Hillary. Well, 7 million, and uh, <clears throat> of course Donald had 11 million. That's about a 30% difference, and it's 30% in favor of Donald Trump. And what's interesting there is that the social networks are probably the one place where you can really get a feel of what the average American thinks and does, um, especially Facebook, and then Twitter, and then to a lesser extent YouTube, and then to an even lesser extent because we're getting into more specialized demographics, Instagram, because say Instagram is like the young crowd. So this is mainstream America. Everybody and their grandmother is on Facebook, right? And 30% of those people who like one of the presidential candidates like Trump. That's interesting. So I thought, well, let's look at those other social networks and see where it goes from here. So I went to Twitter next as probably the next biggest social network. Um, and Hillary on Twitter is following 758 people and has 9.73 million followers and 1175 likes. Meh, meh, that's pretty good. 9.7 9 million followers, that's pretty good. 
And uh, as you see, I, I don't follow any of these people because I am pretty middle of the road. Um, and I mean, I might vote for a third party candidate. I might vote for myself. I think that would be kind of humorous and a little bit of um, kind of an anarchist thing to do um, just because there's no real good choice for me. And then I went to Donald Trump's Twitter. And again, I'm not following him, um, but he has 12.5 million visitors, only 44 likes, and he's only following 41 people. So again, he has about a 30% lead in likes over Hillary Clinton. And that's just starting to blow my mind because Hillary is the candidate you think of as being more popular with the, uh, the techie and nerdy and, you know, that kind of person and the internet is supposedly more representative of that demographic although as i said facebook and and to a slightly lesser extent extent twitter are pretty representative i think of people in general so anyway i checked these two social networks and in both cases trump is leading if the vote was based on social network likes twitter i mean yeah trump would win by a landslide of about 30 percent i then went to youtube <coughs> and on YouTube, Trump has 70,075 subscribers. Well, that's not huge. And right here is the social networks that he displays. So we already looked at Facebook, Twitter, and he also displays Instagram and Google+. Okay, so I'm going to go to Hillary's page next, and you'll see Hillary doesn't have Google+, displayed. And she has um, LinkedIn instead, and I, so I can't really do a comparison there if they are not promoting those networks. So the only other network we're going to look at is Instagram. So anyway, Donald Trump on YouTube, 70,075 subscribers. So then we'll go to Hillary <clears throat> on YouTube and see that she has 87,796 subscribers. So finally, Hillary wins something by about 10 to 15%. You know, about 15%, I guess. She is taking YouTube by 15%. Okay, out of the three, YouTube is probably the less indicative of the average person because average people, you know, mom and pop and grandma don't always watch that much YouTube. And, you know, if they do, they may be watching, you know, fail videos or, you know, kid videos or, you know, there's a lot of specialization there that isn't really there on Facebook and Twitter. So at any rate, since the only other network that they display in common is Instagram, I thought I would look there. And like I said, I think Instagram is, is more um, representative of the younger techie sort of demographic. And, and on Instagram, Hillary Clinton has 2.5 million followers. And the Donald has... 2.6 million followers. So he is winning by a tenth of 1% even on Instagram. So, I mean, I don't know why the major news media isn't mentioning this anywhere, but if you look at the social networks, all of them, Donald Trump is the next president by a landslide. And, you know, I, I think... You know, the polls here, the polls there, and everything can all be kind of skewed depending on how you ask the questions and what questions you ask. But when you just look at the numbers on the social networks, nobody's manipulating that. That's what it is. And I think it's an accurate representation of potentially where this election is at right now. So uh, that was my observation, and I hope you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Okay, this morning you get a cooking lesson because I'm going to make something for Vi, which is probably one of the best sweets that I have ever had, and it's awesomely healthy. Okay, so you need to have it. Okay, so here's what you need. Some honey, a plate, some whole grain bread. I like uh, Arnold's. This is double protein just because, you know, I like that. But uh, any good whole grain bread.